words for the kids? Spare a story or two. You're all going to die. Hello you and welcome back. Today we are playing Baldur's Gate 3. I leveled up every one of my companions and of course my cute little self. We are going to take a long rest because you guys reassured me that I can just long rest whenever I want and I'll probably be missing out on a lot more content if I don't long rest. There are just a couple of missions that will move on without me if I use the long rest but it's like one or two so we're fine thank god I have been wanting to do this long rest for quite a long time because I want to talk to my companions so let's go to camp I am super intrigued I want to know and I just want to talk to my companions let's go to camp I haven't been there before so let's do it this will also allow me to use my other spells that I have been not been able to use for a long time okay 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 Something happened. I don't know what. Sometimes it's a little glitchy. I'm not sure why, but we're here. Oh my god, guys. Stop it. We're at camp. Who the hell is that? Oh, is that my friend that I actually rescued from his little tomb? Is that my friend? Now, this is interesting. So on the dots, you can obviously see my companions. Okay, leave camp when you're ready to get back to your adventure. Okay, but I don't want to yet. Oh my gosh, look! Oh, Gil wants something for me, maybe? Okay, I'm so intrigued. Look, guys, withers. Is that the skeleton? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I'm just so excited. I kind of want to talk to him because he's an interesting figure. But it seems he has followed me from the tomb, and I wonder why. Does he like me that much? I know, I'm very likable. <laughs> Shut up. We meet again, as predicted. Yeah. She's so confused. I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. <laughs> She's like, dude, why are you following me? Also, side note, I'm still sick. So if you hear me speak oddly, I'm sorry. Okay, not to be rude, but what are you? You were sorting something before. What were you doing? What kind of services can a skeleton offer? Care to explain why you are helping me? <laughs> I prefer if you leave. Or plainly, simply, let's attack. No, I, I, I want to talk to him. I'm really curious about him. Not to be rude, but um, what are you? There are many answers to that question. None are important. They're not? Okay. Skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. If you won't answer, then get out of my camp! I think he's just not really thinking about the small things in life because he's dead. <laughs> he's ascended, I think. And he only wants to wonder about the great matters of the universe. But okay, skeletons aren't supposed to be able to talk. Correct. But you do. <laughs> he doesn't cut <laughs> does not want to talk about the small stuff. He does not. Are you going to explain any further? No. I knew it! Withers, are you serious? Maybe he doesn't like me as much. Hmm, you were sorting something before. What were you doing? Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the absolute oh. felled in its name they bear great discontentment with their destiny is that so <laughs> she seems so From confused the entire time i might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking oh you just want some good old coin he's just like the rest of us i was praising him like oh my gosh he's just like thinking of the grand scheme of things he's such a wise old skeleton will these hirelings be joining me willingly do you think I can trust these cultists? Impressive. Are there any other ways you can help us? Will these hirelings be joining me? Most willingly, forsooth. Uh... Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Wow. Interesting. She's just so blank. It's really funny. Do you think I can trust these cultists? I believe that is a fair question. 
Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. Rude. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Hmm. So he's just here to sell me stuff? Is that it? Impressive. Are there any other ways you can help us? Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. Oh, that is intriguing. And I like that. Thank you. He's like my Holy Mary. <laughs> Just the skeleton. That's an incredibly powerful magic. Why is it so easy for you? Necromancy. Well, no. Necromancy is just using one's body to fight for you. But here, he will actually cleave the soul to the body once more. So it's a different sort of magic, and I am intrigued. Okay, why is it so easy for you? Because it is my calling. There is little else to explain. Ah. You mentioned a cost. What is it? I assume it's high. A matter of coin. Oh, 200. Okay. What if I don't have that kind of coin right now? You help me change my class. Oh, so if you're not satisfied. Interesting. You can actually change classes with him. Okay, that's cool. Hmm, what if I don't have that kind of gold right now? I mean, I don't need to at the moment because everyone's still alive, right? I didn't kill anybody in the back there. Gil, maybe? I don't have that kind of coin right now. Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Okay, that makes sense. Hmm, you can change cloths. I don't want to do that right now. It's a fair price. I'm not gonna go that's outrageous. It might be a little outrageous, but it's fine. I mean, it's a powerful magic and we're willing to pay the price here. We're fair customers. <laughs> I might be getting screwed over. It's fine. Okay, I'd like to talk about the hirelings some more. Very well. Hmm, this, oh, I can recruit. I don't know how much money I have. How much money do I have? Do I want to recruit one? I'm just gonna hold off for just a bit and explore camp a little bit. Mm, okay, this is fine, thank you. Okay, this strange wrath commends many powers. He allows you to resurrect allies, hire help, and change your class. For a price, of course. I like that, so that is why I freed him. He seems to have taken a liking to me, or my coin purse, <laughs> one or the other. Hello, Shadowheart. Let's talk. Nazelle has a dangerous look in her eyes. Let's just hope she reserves those impulses for any common foes. Okay, you really don't like her, huh? Hmm, I want to talk about all that has happened to us. I'm not sure if she will actually do anything new, because we had this kind of talk with her before, and she was not keen on talking to me. Fine. Oh. What's on your mind? Interesting. How am I holding up in your estimations? I really don't want to know about this, honestly. I want to ask people how they feel about me. That's scary. Let's do it. You're not the kind of company I'd keep willingly. But all things considered, you'll do. Oh, what praise. And I haven't forgotten that you saved my life aboard the Nautoroid. Perhaps I'll be able to return the favor at some point. Thank you. Oh, look how pretty my character is here. She's like smiling a little bit. Her hair is glowing in the sun. She's gorgeous. Or I want her to be on my team because she's the healer. And right now, the Traveler's just... What? Okay, I'll take it, I guess. I don't know what it did. Hey, I can pick this up. A bedroll. Now it's mine! Oh, you are now- Oh, that's probably because I have too many stuff. Probably because I have too many stuff, huh? Alright, shit. Yeah, okay. Yay. I need to sell- Can I sell stuff? I need a merchant. I need a trader. Why am I carrying all of these scrolls, though? <laughs> I'm gonna send them to Shadowheart so she can carry a little bit. I'm not gonna give anyone to the boys because I don't trust the boys, okay? I'm gonna trust Shadowheart in this. But this one is better. Equip that, please. Thank you. 
Okay, I really do need to check out my equipment a little bit more, but I really want to talk to my companions as well. So, let's do that! He hates me, but I'm trying to be make him, like, into me, because I think he's pretty. <laughs> Sorry! I am enjoying the latest addition to our little group. Oh. Maisel is delightful. Thank you! Very, look at me twice and I'll dismember you kind of way, of course. Well, that's the fun part, isn't it? Thank you. Somebody likes her just as much as I do. I don't see why people don't like her. I mean, she's a little rough around the edges, but I'm into that. <laughs> All right, tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. <laughs> Is it though? <laughs> he does not want to talk to me, does it? All right, thank you. Hmm, all right. Hey, there's my little green friend, La Zarel. Am I saying that right? I always put your names. That's my issue. Chatter already, Tusky. Tusky, it's fine. I want to get to know you because I think you're really nice. <laughs> okay, you look so unusual. Is that rude? Is that considered rude? Arr, she's gonna hate me. I feel like she's gonna hate me if I pick this. Let's do it. I expect I am your first. Ooh. <laughs> oh, she like that. You could be my first. <laughs> I never heard of your kind until my capture. I know of Gif Yonki, but I've never met one. I've crossed paths with Gif Yonki before. Ha! Ah. I never heard. Let's be honest. I never heard of her kind before. So, I suppose I am as alien to you as you are to me. I know of your kind, but I do not often encounter them. <laughs> You're welcome. Here that I am. Large, fleshy nose of yours looks like a mistake. How dare you? That is so rude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it isn't that large. As if your upturned bat snout is any better. Ooh, ooh, ouch. Really? Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Be silent in the face of her godding. I'm, I'm gonna play along. I'm, I'm tempted to go, oh, come on now, it isn't that large. But I kinda am <laughs> willing to fuck around and throw her back. So, really? Thanks for noticing! It was an observation, not a compliment. Yeah, sure. No matter. I do not intend to stay long in this place. <laughs> She's so sassy, I love her. <laughs> in this, this place! place. <laughs> How much do you know about Mind Flayers? Because, yeah, she actually has a quest for us to get rid of the parasites in our heads. So I probably should be going there, but... <laughs> side quests, am I right? Do you know much about the Mind Flayers? I understand much beyond your comprehension. Okay. Right to the point, I know the cure for our condition. It is imperative we locate a crash. You do well to observe more and question less. Okay, it's fine. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll do that. Do you know what happens if we don't find a cure? Well, we turn into those mind flayers, right? I mean, we've seen it happen. Yes, in great detail. It starts with a fever and memory loss. Then you start Ugh. to hallucinate. Your hair falls out and you bleed from every orifice. Stop! Your bones will change form. Your jaw will split to allow room for four great tentacles. All skin will turn to gore and be shed to reveal new flesh underneath. Then you have ceased to exist, and a mind flayer is born. She's very theatrical. I love it. That was amazing. <laughs> I'm like, wow, thanks for the show. That was beautiful. <laughs> that sounds awful. How are you so calm? Try to suppress your rising panic. Elf, a lonesome fate. One I intend to avoid. Okay, let's just go with elf, because I am an elf, so let's be elfy. Words forged in steel. May your actions express the same metal. She liked we that! We my kind and be rid of the parasite. It's as simple as that. The symptoms should have long since started, though. That is what puzzles me. It's delayed? Hmm. She's into elves, though, so I'm thinking we're good. <laughs> okay, you're worried we haven't changed. This is good news. <laughs> On other matters! No, I want to know. It's curious, though, as if she is familiar with the process in great detail, if I might add, 
And why haven't we turned yet? Interesting. Yes, if you give it no further thought. <laughs> but anomalies lead to surprises. Bad surprises. Right. Besides, what hasn't happened may yet come to pass. I hope not, because I like how I am. I mean, look at me. I'm gorgeous. <laughs> I'd like you to join me, though. You've no room. Dismiss your weakest warrior. All right, I will. I will. Just give me a second. Gil, where are you? I kind of want to bring the mage, but I'm also some sort of a mage, but he is long range. I'm curious, like, okay, if I'm looking tactical, I really need Shadowheart to heal me, help me, keep me alive. But I really like how Hysterion looks, so I don't want to dismiss him either. So it's gotta be Gail. <laughs> Sorry, Gail. Let's talk to you. Go ahead. I'm listening. All right, so I'm sorry that I wanted to put my mind in your mind and read your mind, if that makes sense. I'm just sorry I got caught, you know? <laughs> I question the wisdom of that decision, but so be it. All right, so uh, we should stay together. Perhaps we'll travel together again later. I'll be here in the meantime, idling away the hours. Yes, because you called me stupid, now you're punished. And I want my girl with me. I just really want to see because she's a strong warrior. Speak. Um, can you please join me because I really like you even though you hate me? Please. It is done. Yes! Accept it! Victory! Oh, and she's leveled up! Okay. Cool. Um, no, I can just do this, right? I don't need to. Okay, maybe, maybe not. But I have that big armor piece. But this is heavy armor. Oh, no, it's also medium. I would assume she would actually have, like, heavy armor. It's not better, so we're not gonna use it, but she is able to wear heavy armor. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense! All right, so we try and level her up. Yes, let's go! I leveled everybody else up, but hey, here we are. Woo, fighter! Okay, yeah, she definitely needed to level up. Okay, cool, except... Alright, is she gonna level up a little? Yes, I figured. Okay, specialization is available. Superiority dice, what does that do? They fuel your batter master maneuvers and are expended upon use. You regain expended superiority dice after a short or long rest. Free passes. Okay, so let's see about the subclasses. Battle master. Battle masters are the paragons of tactical superiority. Combining combat maneuvers and experience in the field to dominate every fight. Ooh. Eldritch knights study magic to supplement their weaponry, allowing them to overcome resistance from the toughest foes, which will bind the weapon in your main hand. The weapon can't be knocked out of your hand, and it automatically returns to you when thrown. Interesting. Champion. You will approach complex problems posed by combat with one distinctive effective solution. You hit those problems really quite hard. Kind of like that she's a champion. Battle master. I don't quite understand this, but I'm thinking I'm gonna go with battle master. There you go, powerful attacks. Okay, I like this because it's a reaction attack. Commander Strike. That's cool too. So you can actually tell people to attack by being the commander. Okay, continue. Okay, jump, sure. Triple a creature's jumping distance? That is amazing. She can do that? That is cool. Alright, we leveled her up once again. Thank you. Let's Wonderful. I'm excited about this now. I mean, yeah, I got a lot to learn. But we'll figure it out. I also removed the crossbow from Gale because you guys were giving me shit for it. Like a wizard with a crossbow? <laughs> I only did that because in the previous episode, you guys were like, you should give everybody crossbows so you can actually get them long range. And yeah, I got that, but he could still do his spells and use the crossbow, okay? It wasn't like he couldn't use the spells. Well, at least some of them. <laughs> anyway, that should be fine. 
let's see, is there anything else we can do at camp? Oh, what is this? That is so pretty. Is this where I leave camp, or... Why the fuck is there a magic mirror? Why is there a magic mirror? Why? Is this for your appearance? Listen, I don't trust anything, so I'm gonna use a new save. <laughs> Listen, what is this? Oh. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I think this might be my appearance. Is this my... Ah, it's my appearance. Well, I kind of like my appearance. The only thing I want to do is like maybe give her earrings because that's so cute. Nah. Nah. Listen, my girl deserves some earrings. Those are cool. Do I like these earrings? Ah, no, I don't like that. I'm sorry. No, that's not for her. Ooh, dragon earrings. No, I don't want a nose ring. This is classy though. She's a classy girl. I like this. These are like funky. I'm gonna go with that. We're not gonna do that again. I don't want to get demonetized again. All right, I'm thinking we're good. I gave her a little bit more of a blonder look because I felt like she was a little bit more red than blonde at times. So here we are. Okay, confirm. And she got pretty earrings now. All right, that should be good. I'm all fresh and pretty, boys and girls and lasses. Can we talk a little bit more? Well, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, now he likes me a little bit more. See, he's smiling at me. Okay, good. We're making progress. But I don't really have much to say to you anymore, so that's unfortunate. Pranks are kind of throwing me off right now. Do we like it? Okay, we're just gonna keep the earrings for now. Let me know if you like the earrings in the comments. <laughs> it's very important. I can always change them, right? Okay, I'm not sure if we can do anything else. I can leave camp because now I can maybe do all of my spells again because I took a long rest. Yay! Okay! Uh, um, I'm not sure I want that. <laughs> All right, wear that. What does that even do, man? Hide helmet. I don't want you to. <laughs> I don't want you. I don't want to look at that helmet. I want to look at your pretty face. Okay, so that's that. I mean, this is not a traitor. Can I trade with you? Fate spins along as it should. Wonderful. Can I make a trade with you? Dost thou require a new ally, or mayhaps a resurrection instead? No, but I would like to see if you can trade with me. No, I can only attack you, so that's not helpful. All right, so can we leave camp? Bye. I don't think I did the long rest yet, so let's do the long rest. You want to end the day. You have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points and spell slot if you long rest. Yes, that's the point in all of this. Do it. Okay. <gasps> she looks so pretty with her blouse. Oh, maybe we can talk properly now. Okay, I don't think we can talk a little bit more, but we can try later. Interesting. So I thought we were already doing the long rest, but of course you gotta toggle it. Can we talk more with our companions now? How do you feel? Oh, uh, well, um, I'm gorgeous. <laughs> Fine, much better than I thought I would, given the circumstances. Honestly, more than a little frightened. I don't know, how do you feel? You know what, considering the circumstances, I'm jolly. Yes, me as well. Besides the occasional mental exchange, <laughs> it's almost as if we're not infected. Yeah. I feel good. It's so strange. Do you remember the voice aboard the ship? What about it? Um, I really don't, but I'm gonna pretend I know exactly what you're talking about. It's been hard to forget. <laughs> it's not been hard to forget. What did they say? What do you mean? I was trying not to dwell on it, but thank you for reminding me. Uh, I'm gonna fake it till I make it. It's hard to forget. Yes. Almost like it's whispering to me still. The voice said I'd become a beautiful weapon. 
What do you think that means? Well, exactly what what it says. You're going to be a beautiful weapon to be used in whatever kind of war or whatever sort of situation they want you for. Anything's possible, but we still need to find a healer. Sounds like it had a plan for us. Who knows? Could have been an hallucination. I'm just glad we're still alive. <laughs> Maybe it's a compliment. I don't know. Hmm. Yes, we do need to find a healer, but I'm so curious why we haven't turned turned regularly quite yet. It sounds like it had a plan for us. Whatever they were, those plans were interrupted by the dragons. Yeah. <laughs> Either way, we can't take the lack of symptoms for granted. We have to find a healer. Yeah, you're right. Well, I've said my piece. Get some rest. I'll try. Lazarel has an idea. Ooh, look at me stretching, babe. You like that? You like that? <laughs> yeah, Lazarel mentioned we should find a crash. So I'm thinking that's our next plan of action. I'm not sure how I feel about my earrings, guys. They might be too much and distracting. Hello, pretty boy. Oh, look, we're matching. We're such a power couple. I'm joking. I don't even know this man. <laughs> Sounds like you've been learning all about your gruesome future. And yours. I have to say, I thought you'd look worse, but no. Not a tentacle to be seen. It's genetics. <laughs> all right, that's what everyone's been saying. Is it so strange? I'm hoping it will stay that way. Not yet. I could say the same to you. I'm gonna inform a little bit more because I do feel it's strange. It's unexpected, but we shan't complain. Right. I'm not taking anything for granted, of course. First sign of change, and I'll have to stop that pretty little heart of yours. Well, ditto. I am open to suggestions. Knives, poison, strangulation, whatever you'd prefer. How kind, thank you. I prefer not to die. A knife, that seems quick. Poison, that seems painless. Try it and I'll spill your guts. Not sure. How would you like to go? I'm gonna ask that. No, but I'm actually curious. How would you like to go? What's the best sort of option here? Because you seem experienced. I don't think poison is for me. Nor stabbing, come to think of it. I always felt decapitation was a fine choice. <laughs> One good swing and then nothing. You're gone. <laughs> but we were talking about you. What'll it be? <laughs> He's so casual about it! That decapitation sounds good, actually. Hmm. I don't have a choice. I'd rather have one of the others do it. Nah, I think his blade is swift. Well, maybe Lazarel. She has a strong form, I feel. <laughs> you know what? Decapitation! Why not? A fine choice. Now, to use sword or axe. Or saw. No, no hmm. saw. No well, saw. I'm getting ahead of myself. This is all a worst case scenario. Yes, obviously. and you're thoroughly enjoying the conversation. Obviously, but that won't happen. It can't. If the last day has taught me anything, it's that the impossible is more likely than you think. Now, let's get some rest. The sooner we start tomorrow, the better our chances of keeping this hypothetical. What a good actor. Hypothetical. I like that. I like the voice acting. It's very well done. Hmm. Oh, the- Whoa, girl! Look at you! Holy fuck a mole! Woo! Look at you! With your bad nose! Our emotions grow inside us. Uh -huh. Our bones should ache. Our mouths should bleed. If I were a man, something else would be growing up. <laughs> it is madness. Keep your rest short. Time is not our ally. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I was joking, okay? I was so joking. <clears throat> I'm joking. Speak. I, I would, but I'm a little distracted. You are beautiful. I'm just rizzing, trying to riz everybody I can. <laughs> All right, let's try it. You know what? Well, you know what? <laughs> I can be into that. <laughs> Ah, oh, stop it! Okay, well, what do we have here? What is happening? Gail? Do you mind, Gail? What the hell? Be with you. 
in a moment. Okay, well, this is just not for me. She is not into this. All that wizardry makes me uncomfortable. I'm a druid, dammit. You know what? Need trick. Can you use it in other situations? <laughs> not a trick, my friend. Match. Yes, snobby snob. Be that as it may. Ceramorphosis. What does it make you think of? Well. Um, I know exactly what it makes me think of. <laughs> First and foremost, that damn tadpole. Until quite recently, nothing at all. If you're about to start a lecture, I'm not interested. He does seem rather fond of his lectures, and I'm really not interested. But sure. First and foremost, that damn tadpole. Spot on. Right. Day one, fever and memory loss. Day two, hallucinations and graying skin. Day three... Hair loss and blood leaking from all orifices. Ugh. Need to go on? No, thank you. We're good. Uh, <laughs> Nod, shake your head. No! My point is this. Our orifices remain blissfully unblooded, our heads remain clear, and our blood temperature normal. Right. Any expert will agree this is abnormal. Everybody else has been saying that, so what you're saying is not exactly new to me, not new information. Long live the abnormal! <laughs> Can you explain why the symptoms aren't showing? And what makes you the expert, huh? I feel like there might be some rivalry between the two of them, but only coming from her side. It's like completely one-sided because she's like, he called me a stupid druid, damn that wizard. <laughs> And he doesn't give a shit. I, I've got one-sided beef with Gail. Anyway, can you explain why the symptoms aren't showing? I mean, if he's a wizard and he went to school... Right, Dumbledore, how about you explain? That, alas, is where my knowledge fails me. Loser! You might call it luck. A priest might call it fate. Oh, great. What do you As call it? myself, I'm a pragmatic. I see the silence before the storm. I might have to agree with that. Something to sleep on. We should get some rest. Yeah, I feel like it's all a little bit too easy. And I'm worried. What's on your mind? Well, my you, that's for sure. Bye. All right. Well, that's that. This is beautiful. Look at that. All right, maybe we can take a nap and then move on with our adventure. Because I talked to Gil, I talked to pretty much everyone. Let me try and talk to Withers, actually. Maybe he has something new to say now that it's nightfall. Fate spins along as it should. Right? <laughs> she does not give Dost a fuck. Dost thou require a new ally? Nah. Or mayhaps a resurrection? Instead. Not right now, but thank you. Um, no. All right, so maybe we can take a nap. Go to bed. I've spoken to everybody. Let's go. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I got some fries. Five alone? Oh, that one's good. That one's good. Oh, no, no, no. We gotta be sure to have supply pack. What about some garlic? A pig's head? Okay. Oh, God damn you, garlic. Perfect! I'm good with that. A full rest. Let's go. We're good. Oh. What the fuck? What are you doing? What are you doing? What is he doing? Why is he sneaking around? Is he trying to steal oh. from the... Camp? What the hell was that? What did he do? What the fuck? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Excuse me. What did you do to me? What did you do to me? Why are you being a little shit? Did you steal something? What was the moan at the end? Did you assault me in my sleep? Because we're gonna have a problem, mister. I don't agree with that. Well, not if I'm not aware. <laughs> right, is that all? Can we go? Something the matter. Yes, you are beautiful, too beautiful. I hate you. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I love her. I'm not sure about the earrings, people. I'm not sure. I'm gonna leave them in, but I'm not sure about the goddamn earrings. Leave camp. Oh, there you go. Okay, well, leave camp and let's go to our adventure. Nice, and we're back again. And we got our little green friend. Okay, so what I wanna do, we're gonna move here. Can I place a marker? Um, oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hi. 
I'm gonna call you hi, Marker. <laughs> hi. We have to talk to the druids and we gotta help those refugees, which is basically the same quest. But let's go. Because we finished this too. I'll be keeping an eye on you. Understand? If I choose to kill you, you will not even see it. <gasps> They're talking to each other like in Dragon Age. I love that about Dragon Age. I know I speak of Dragon Age a lot, but that's like my point of reference. But I love that. I hope they talk a lot more. Ah, that's something I adore. Is there anything here? Let me just check. Doubt it, doubt it. Okay, well, I am not really happy about that. Okay, so that was my marker. It wasn't shit. <laughs> All right, so we can remove the marker because that wasn't really... Okay, I said remove the goddamn marker. Yes, yes, I want to remove. We're gonna go, maybe fast travel. Yeah, let's fast travel. Travel to the waypoint. Wonderful. And now we're gonna check out those caverns. Maybe I can find a trader. So, you know about these parasites. Will we survive them? They're talking to if my people extract them. The only other cure is the blade. Okay. Wonderful. <laughs> Wonderful. We were talking about decapitation. We much prefer that. Can we go here, please? Fuck, uh, was I locked out? Oh, thank God, they're letting me in. Thank you. Thank God. Thank the gods, thank the druids, thank everybody. Okay, so that's good. Let's see what we can find. Because we haven't been here before. Because I wanted to help you first, my darling. Mwah, big smooch to you. Okay. The hollow. Let's see if we can talk. Are you a traitor? Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Hi. We're met. And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Oh, so you're a Is nice there one. You need? I lower my prices for fellow druids. Fuck, yes! Quick. The ritual will be complete before too long. Yeah, about that ritual, man. Are you really locking down the grove? But he likes me because I'm a fellow druid. <laughs> anyway, are you really locking down the grove? I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. What about the people here? We druids will be safe. We. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanas guard them as they continue their travels. So you're just looking out for your own, is that fair? <sighs> you just said the region's overrun by monsters. They won't survive by themselves. Dire times, high stakes, I understand. Seems like most of them are thieflings. They'll be fine. They have devilish powers. No, man. They won't survive. As I said, it's a drastic measure. But the survival of the Grove is paramount. Is it? There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Hmm. I'm not finished with this. I want to help those refugees, Janet. I'm looking for a healer. I pray no goblin arrow has grazed you. No, just a parasite in my brain. Delights. She should be with the others in the inner chambers. But I doubt she'll be taking on new patients. The grove will be locked down soon. But I'm a druid, remember? What are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. All right, well, let's see. Ick, whoa, whoa. Attitude plus 50 discount because I'm a druid? Gil can absorb this item's magic, destroying it? Wait, why would he do that? Yeah, I definitely need that, but that's expensive. Okay, I need armor, people, so we're gonna get armor. Okay, now I don't have any gold, but maybe I can sell, because I got a lot of shit. I don't need, like, 15 daggers, so... They're gonna add up eventually, right? <laughs> Whoa, damn, why are these so good? Should I get this for myself? Create water? But I don't want him to like eat my 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 stuff. All right, I'm gonna grab this too. Okay, we're good. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Goodbye. Sylvanas, guide your path. Yes, you too. Okay. Well, that was wonderful. I'm gonna check out my character sheet for a moment. 
gonna equip this. Oh, look how cute she looks now. I really did like my druid armor, but she looks cute. I want you to equip this. And also this, because why not, right? Look how strong and powerful you are. Okay, good. I'm a safe, because I can. A new safe, thank you. You guys taught me well, I hope. And let's go. Hello. Leave them behind. You're going to get us killed. What's happening? Can we talk? Girls, we can't just leave. They're kin. Yeah. We'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? Interesting. What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. You want to defend These the... people aren't fighters. We can help. Oh. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Easy. Say nothing. Get out while you can. The goblins will be back. You should all stay. A single blade could make a difference. Do I want to risk all of their lives? But I'm trying to make this place secure for the druids and the thieflings, just any outsider. So if they stay... Maybe that will help my ultimate goal for making this a safe place for everybody. Ha! Huh. I might be able to. I might. Shall we try? Well, let's try, right? Add a freaking bonus. Difficulty class 10. I can hopefully do that. Please, 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 please. please. Come on, come on. I made it. I did make it. I made it. Just, just fine. Just fine. Wonderful. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Ooh. Zergen. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. <laughs> right or die. Thank you, Roland. I like that, Roland. Okay, interesting. I do. I want to secure. Don't be grumpy. Roland. We'll get to the city. <laughs> Don't be grumpy. <laughs> in a troll he's like i'm not grumpy we're all gonna get ourselves killed but i'm not grumpy but i do really want to make this place secure for everybody this place is a bloody death trap not a sanctuary you should clear off while you can interesting i really like that we can speak to everybody absolutely everybody this is curious What's in the pouch? What was in the pouch? Can we check what is in the pouch? Hold on. I did grab a pouch, didn't I? Meh, I know. I, I, I don't know where my pouch went, but I, I did something, all right. We can talk to animals, can't we? <gasps> oh, that's it? Uh, well, that one. <laughs> I swear that ox's gaze is following me. Which one? Oh, you strange ox. Arcana, the ox makes you uneasy. Try to discern why. <laughs> Hideous cow! A fine looking beast you are. Ooh. And I don't have Gale with me either! But couldn't I talk to animals? Gale, I kind of need you to come back right now. Yeah, I don't have intelligence. That sucks. Let me see. Well, he... Maybe we got a better shot with Asterion. Let's try and find out. Ten. at bonus. Thank you. Let's pray to the gods. Oh, shit. Really? Oh, I can roll again. I got inspiration. Right, 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 right. Okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Let's try to we fine. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Come on. Okay. Works for me. Works for me. Thank you. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Yeah, no shit. Moo? You have rolled a 20 on a skill check. Critical success. Can we talk a little bit more? Looking ahead. No, I didn't want to. Yes. Oh, hi. Yeah, can we talk now? Oh, you're addressing me? Oh. A humble ox. How <laughs> quaint. Nice! Nice! 
Nice! Haven't you met anyone who could speak to Oxen? Interesting, but now we don't have this. We just know he's weird. Let me just try and talk. A druid or two, I suppose. But the novelty remains fresh. Oh my gosh! Did you come from Elturel with the others? I suppose I did. He yes. I had quite a life in El Toro. Chewing cud, pulling carts, etc. Okay, right. We're gonna have to try and do this again, don't we? But now I have one minus intelligence, but I'm gonna try again. Why do I have to do that again? I did it already! I already paused this! Oh, 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 well that was a fast one, but it happened! Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. There's more to you than meets the eye. Care to explain? No. You are incapable. What? Why? Why am I incapable? Hmm. Let's see. Persuasion? Come on, old chap. I'm a devil for gossip. I don't want to intimidate him. Deception. Fine. I hear the thieflings are going to butcher, butcher one of you for food. So your secret die with you. Yeah, no. I'm gonna go with persuasion. Come on, old chap! Talk to me here. Okay, this should be fine. Total bonus. Let's roll the dice. Nice! Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let's go. All right, wonderful. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Oh. No. That's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, Moo. <laughs> I really mean this. Can I talk to the other oxes too? Forever. This is no fortress and we're no warriors. Hello. Hi. Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or Rox. Another one. Wow, a druid. He's got to be talking about druids, right? I love that we can speak to animals. This is amazing. Hmm. Aurox describes me well. Yes. Aunt, are you calling me small? Maybe I'm an ox too. Maybe I'm an ox too. You have the smell. Ah! I do not think so. You are not like the keepers here. Interesting. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay. And I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. I figured I stole it. <laughs> Interesting. Shiny bits, Druid. Maybe you could learn to change as we Druids do. Cheer up, you do a noble thing, carrying burdens for those who can't. Hmm... I, well, I'm curious. Yes. Yes. I would change into a two legs like you. But how? I don't know. Meditation, a lot of it. Surely you could pick a better form than mine. You'll never be like me. Hmm, surely you could pick a better form than mine. It is not the form. It is the freedom. Aww. Your kind walk free, and other beasts carry your burdens. You're right. I'm sorry. To live like you, I could learn to be ugly. <laughs> Damn it, Jesus Christ! I love him! I am, I am obsessed with this ability. We can talk. Be gone. I am hungry. But I, I got a pouch there. Can't I help this animal? Oh, Jesus. Who are you, Joni? Don't take your eyes off my hands. Oh, Jesus, what's happening? Hi. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. Well, I am quite boring, actually. Are you all right? Turn around to see what he's looking at. No, he's gonna pickpocket me, maybe. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Fuck no. Fuck no. No, I'm not gonna turn around. Grunt. Mm. <laughs> he's still staring right past you. No, he's gonna pickpocket me. No, fuck no. No, 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 I don't trust him. We don't trust that person. 
We don't trust that bratty child. He's gonna pickpocket. Ah. Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. How old are you, three? <laughs> oh. Uh. Right. Uh. Go for the heart. No, thank you. Well, not my heart necessarily. Thank you. Yeah. This is boring. <laughs> We should train against real goblins. Well, you don't really want that. I know you think you want that, but battle is more than just exciting, thrilling sword fighting. It's painful, bloody, and ugly. Go on. Give me a best shot. Oh, that's the cutie! The musketeer! I liked him. Don't stab a child. Again. I wonder what's his story. Bullying children. <laughs> That's his story. I can't do it. I'm not like you. You don't have to be. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. I love him. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. What a cutie. This whelp is hopeless. You're wasting your time. <laughs> Imagine interrupting such a sweet moment. It's good advice, child. You do well to listen. I'm gonna impress the fuck out of him. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Hi. Well met. The blade of frontiers at your. Sh the man's smile bends downward, oh. and his thoughts become yours. Does he you have a the parasite? The blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe held high. Is this not... Oh. Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. So were you then? Oh, I figured for a moment maybe it wasn't just us connecting with all of the parasites we share, but maybe my new ability what they did making us a great weapon so to say we could use that ability that parasite to look into other people's minds but maybe not because gil like resisted my effort my druid effort but okay he was on a ship too yes and we both carry parasites another escape b thank the gods i need all the friends i can get who was that woman? The one in your thoughts? <laughs> Peer further into his mind? I feel like that's so invasive! Yes, let's just... I don't want to be a dick, so I don't want to be invasive, so yes, and we both carry parasites. Mm. Doomed to shed our skin and become a lithid, or so the stories go. Yeah, but, but it's delayed. But we haven't sprouted any tentacles. Not yet, anyway. Could just be good luck. I'm not so. Your minds collide once more. Will chases the fiend ignited with rancor. She is an infernal war devil. A threat to the living. Evil incarnate. Shit! You saw her. Advocatus Diaboli. I wasn't meant Advocatus to see her. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces Ooh. and demons. Interesting. Hunting in the hells, dangerous territory. Gavorting with devils, I see. You should consider better company. I don't think he's actually converting with them. I think he is chasing them, hunting them down. A devil's advocate. Do you think she'll bring the blood war to Farron? Hmm. Hunting in the hells, dangerous territory. I'm no stranger to the infernal. Better to slay a devil before her fires burn common folk to ash. So what are her you? Her name is Karlak, an archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship, but the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. Oh. She's out there now, preying on the innocent. I don't kill her, she'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. Hmm... Let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. I want to because he's cute. Hmm, I'm looking for a cure. I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. Good luck with your devil problem. It seems your work's cut out for you. <laughs> I'm looking to cure this infection. I suggest we partner up. 
I feel like my companions are gonna be pissed if I pick this one because they really just want to get rid of the infection. But he's cute, guys. Let me have a little fun. An excellent suggestion. I knew it. But your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Hmm. All right. Ooh, he's actually a companion. I thought he rejected. All right, go to the camp and wait for me. Well, no, I can actually dismiss somebody, can't I? All right, I'm gonna send him to camp because I wanna get to know my other companions too, but he's cute. I'll fight the devils for you, baby. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. Okay. Oh, another companion? Wasn't he supposed to defend the cavern here? Oh, well, he does Okay, well, it's not his ultimate quest. It was just a little side quest, of course. Hi. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> a few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. You're all going to die. <laughs> They're just kids. Why are you teaching them to fight? Well, to defend themselves, probably. Soak the battlefield with blood. Do not resist death, but embrace it. Be strong and watch over your kin. In trust, there is victory. Bad news, kid. <laughs> You're all going to die. <laughs> that was my first thought, but I can't say that. Ah, let's let's be a proper hero in all of this. But this is very funny. Be strong and watch over your kin. In trust, there is victory. <laughs> they don't give a fuck. Like, what the fuck are you saying, you stupid Thanks. elf? I prefer when they smile. Oh, that's sweet. Me too. But you're all going to die. <laughs> oh, come on. It's a fun time. Zoro. By Mordai's eyes. Another one. Another one. My friend's blood not enough. Oh. Come to rip me open oh, too. Oh, did you? Ooh. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you? How dare you? She's not a monster. Yeah, <laughs> yes. And I suggest you do what she says. You heard the woman bow. Hold it. I'll see to this one. Yes. You know what? Sure. I'm gonna go side with my little monster, my little green friend over here. Lower. Okay, you don't need to rub it in. Wait for the tiefling to obey. She's serious. You better get on your knees fast. I'll just wait around and see. Interesting. Oh, she's enjoying this. You saw another gif. Where? On the road to Baldur's Gate. N near the mountain pass. S saw us for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. Yeah. No twisting. Kin must have been in a hurry. The map. Show me. Interesting. <laughs> She's like, okay. Up. You can keep your innards. Oh, that's very merciful of you. Good job. Oh, you're not going to eviscerate him. I was hoping for a show. I know! I was expecting one! I'll indulge you soon enough. <laughs> what kind of party am I traveling with? Oh, I can talk to you. The locals prove compliant. A useful trait. Right. I warned you, didn't I? You ought to reconsider keeping her around before she causes real trouble. It's fine. She didn't even gut him or anything, Shadow War. She just made... <laughs> him sink to his knees and domineer him. It's fine. He was into it, I'm sure. Do you plan to be that rough with everyone we meet? Your dad had an interrogation. He might need that skill again. You know what? What comes next? Because I'm not picking either one of you. The teethling was clear. If there are Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. Okay, 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 relax. <laughs> Did you say teethling? <laughs> I'm gonna be a freaking troll. I am unfamiliar with the, well, I shall not say culture, custom perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this fey run. Of course I will. She's like me. She can't pronounce things right. No, no, it's fey run. Like I said it right. I love her. She's me. She's aggressive. 
She likes to plunder, make men sink to their knees, and she can't pronounce things for shit. Anyway, what do you mean by purification? The crash holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Okay, girl. Let's go. Hmm. I'm so enjoying this so far. I feel like it's finally picking up speed. Oh, that was mostly my fault. <laughs> we can attack it though, right? Can I attack this door? Ah, I can't lock pick it. I can't range attack. Stop! Oh! This place is off limits. Leave. Why? I want to get in there. Oh, interesting. I'm just looking around, study her face, and try to read her emotions. Persuasion. Don't worry, I'm here to help. Deception. I'm afraid I can't. I've been placed in charge of this area. Well, not really, but sure. Intimidation. Hush, girl. Another word, or I'll snap your neck. Well, that's not very nice. Let's see what we can have. I'm interested about insight, though. Let's go with insight. I want to study your pretty face. Okay. Roll the dice. Shouldn't be too hard. Please, please, please. <gasps> You gotta be shitting me. Should it be too hard? And then you throw that at me? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. Wow, it's like the game heard me and was like, ah, you thought? <laughs> Think again. Wow, critical failure. You gotta be joking. Well, thank God for the inspirations, right? You note her grimace of pain. Something is wrong with her legs. Oh no. Damn it. Don't, don't look at me like that. I'm not pitying you. Can you can stay. Just keep your hands to yourself, all right? Sure. You need a hand up? <laughs> you look ridiculous. That is so mean. Do you need a hand? I just fall back down. Legs are as steady as a falls. Oh. Bloody potion. Ah, where did you get this potion? Sounds like it was quite a dodgy brew. Don't worry, you're not the only one to have trouble standing after too many potions. She can't come after you. Take her bag and leave. Oh my god. Hmm, it might have been nightshade. Maybe hemlock poison, basically. I'll go with that. What? No, the potion worked. I'm strong as a bugbear and fearless. But you can't walk. There was the a trick. The old lady warned me that this might happen. That it was a side effect. The old lady? Where's this old lady? Sounds like you've been duped. No, you've been duped, babe. No, she's been nothing but kind to me. That's the trick. Why would she... She pulls you in. Sorry, I need a moment. I'm not... Not feeling the best, but I'm sure it'll pass. Well, we did talk to her. Interesting. We might have to check out this lady that's been duping all of these poor people. Hello. Let me check out the map, actually. Okay, so we need to go here. Hunt down. Oh, but that's from my other friend. I don't need to go there yet. Speak. Find the healer, Nettie. I'm gonna go there. First, I'm gonna talk to these people. Makeshift prison. What happened here? There's so you much happening. Me. Your hands are shaking. Oh, it's a goblin. Put it down. She can't fight back. You captured That's a goblin? Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Oh, I remember you, I think. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. It's not gonna make you feel better. I mean, an eye for an eye, but it never brings back the people you lost. Shut up, those words could be your last. Step between the crossbow and the goblin. You know what? Let's be dramatic about this. Gil approves. Where did Gil look from? Look Where's Gil? Sent me a protector. You gonna kill her too? <laughs> you move. This is not the way. Intimidation, lower the crossbow. Oh, I'll deliver you right to your brother. <laughs> I don't want that. Persuasion, no, shoot me. Should be easy, right? Like you try and shoot an unarmed prisoner. This won't avenge cannon. It won't change anything. That's what I was saying. Interesting. I'm gonna go with that because that was exactly what I was saying. All right, let's, if I 
roll a one again. I'm gonna cry. No. Okay, works for me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Success. You're right. I wish you weren't. I really do. Damn you. Damn it! But why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? I don't, but it's about the principle. It's about you, actually. You'll be worse off if you do this. Because she's not target practice, she's a person. Nah, she's just a little goblin. Look at her. <laughs> I'm kidding. If she dies, she'll take everything she knows to the grave. A goblin prisoner. Her life isn't yours to take. Because vengeance eats people alive, you'll grant the goblins two victories this day. My reasons are my own. I like four. I really do. Your soft heart will be the death of us. You love me you for better it. Be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Well, Shadowheart approved, apparently. <laughs> Shut up. I can open it if I want. What are you messing with my cage for? <laughs> it's too late to make friends walk me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna yeah. burn this pretty place for the glory of the absolute and hang you by your gun. I just saved your ass, lady. A little bit of appreciation would be nice. I just saved your life! Yeah, yeah. But I'm kind of curious about this. Who is this absolute you're so fond of, your god? I want to know because I'm a curious person. Goddess. Oh, whoa, even better. We're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. Wow. You've caught my interest. Have any holy literature on you? An all-powerful goddess that can't get you out of a cage. Well, she's probably busy, right? Hmm, you caught my interest. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute bless one of our own. Priestess Gut. Got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <laughs> Mighty booyah. Interesting. Bah! A clever goblin's like a trustworthy gig. A figment of the imagination. I don't know how much truth there is to it, but I'm curious. Well, I'd certainly like to meet her. Nice story. Buy it for a copper in a tavern, maybe. You know what? I like to meet this person. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? Nah, no deal. <laughs> Not a chance. You can run in the cage. You already told me what I need to know. I'll find the precept myself. Nah, I'm gonna leave you in there. I just wanted to peek in your head a little bit. Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. I'll think about that. I'll think about that. We're, we're not sure about that yet. Ah, oh, we can open this, but it's locked. I can lockpick it if I want. Shall we try? Oh, keep me out. Can't do that. Babe, you're the thief of us. Can you open it? With pleasure. Mm, can't reach this. Right. What now? That's not nice. Is that a chest? Evidence chest. Ah, well, there's nothing there, unfortunately. All right, we're gonna go and speak to this Nettie, I believe her name was. Who are you? Goblins, druids. This grove is a death trap. Well, grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. You're already getting kicked out, so you're on the right path, at least for you. Having fun with your new goblin friend. Bet you aren't. She's not my friend. I, I was trying to help you, you know. Please, leave us be. This isn't a good time. It's never a good time, apparently. It's fine, Memnos. I've had some time to think since we last talked. Can't say I'm enjoying it much. Well, I'm sorry about your brother. That's all I can say. Damon? Hello, Damon. Damnation. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. Oh. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Eltera. Your eyes are amazing. Ah, huh, that forge is holding on by a threat. Are you a smith? Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Elturel fell into Avernus. These days my talents are more... eclectic. Mm. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But, between you and me, 
There's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas, my offerings are far more humble these days. Interesting. You got amazing bone structure, just saying. Let me see your wares then. Oh, man. I already got that. What's this? Arrow. Hunting. Ooh, that one's good. How much is that? Shit. I kind of want that for me because I'm proficient with that. Okay, maybe I can sell a little bit more. Let's see. You want some bones? <laughs> He'll be unhappy about this offer. I wonder why. Bloodstone. Sure. Take that. <laughs> you want this? You want a dark mind? What about a mug or two? You know, let's give you some mugs. Let's give you some bowls. Oh, come on. Just be happy. Okay, so I got pretty much everything for just one bow, but he will be pleased with the offer, so go. Thank you. I wanted that bow. Alright, thanks. <laughs> that took forever. Alright, so I'm gonna equip that bow really, really, really nice, because it's a short bow and it's better for me. Yay, look at me! <laughs> okay, wonderful. We've done that. We still need to talk to you. You should be here, actually. Aww. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. Right, I convinced you, you to stay. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. I hope so. I hope so. All right. Okta. Is that a druid? Shall we talk? <gasps> you. Saw you fighting those slimy bastards. Sure did, ma'am. Sure did. Fancy a bowl. Um, Best to fill your belly now, while we still can. Thank you. Well, it's rude to decline, right? I'm not hungry. What is it? No, thank you. The smell is more than enough. Are we gonna be a snobby elf? A bowl of grey goo reminds me of home. What is it exactly? I kind of want to know what it is, though. You know what? I'm gonna be nice, and I'm just gonna eat it. I mean, don't look a gift in its mouth. Is that how the saying goes? A horse gift in the mouth? I, I, we're gonna take the bowl. Look, it ain't much, but it might make all the difference. Thank you, you're kind. The only way we'll make it to Baldur's Gate is to run, and run hard. Right. If a knoll catches your scent, you'll need every bit of strength. Trust me. I appreciate it, ma'am. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Can we talk a little bit more with her? You've had your share. Leave some for the rest. I'm sorry, I didn't want to... Believe me, I didn't want to have more. Auntie Ethel. Ah, uh, if it isn't the talk of the camp. That's me. Thank goodness, you came along when you... Oh. What? Why? There isn't a bit of color in those cheeks, Petal. Are you harsh? Cold? Feverish? Infected. Auntie Ethel will sort you out. I've lotions and potions galore. Did you dupe that poor thiefling? There's no need. I'm fine, really. I'm just here to trade. Let her fuss over you. What are you, an alchemist? I kind of want to see what happens if she fusses over me. Aha! Uh -huh. Let her talk. You take a sip of that and you'll feel right as rain, sweetie. What is it, though? Wait, wait, wait. What is it, though? Hmm. Might this cocation also help with something more serious? Interesting. Well... That depends. What's wrong, lovey? Uh, maybe I shouldn't talk to her. Uh, I have a condition, a very unusual condition. I don't want her to go crazy on me, though. Mm, this is a little bit of a risk, I feel, but let's go. Oh, I've seen it all. I doubt it. I once had a fella who'd been caught dabbling with a dryad. What? The wife was none too pleased and introduced him to a pot of boiling oil. <laughs> Worry not. I fixed him up, and depending on the lighting, he looks good as new. So, exactly My dark lighting. Is, whatever ails you, I promise I've seen worse. You sure about that, baby? She's not to know of the our ailment. Only a gith healer may make us pure. Are you sure about she that? What's wrong? She calls me Petal, Lazarel. I mean, I'm very sensitive to that. Fine, I, I got the feeling she's a little bit of a dupester anyway, so she's, she's not gonna be able to help me much. <sighs> Fine. As you wish, Petal. Now, do you need anything? 
I have a few odds and ends for sale. Hmm, what's the harm? Show me your wares. Hey, bother. Hey, bother. What do you have? <laughs> Not like I have any fucking goals. This might be good for Asterion. Plus one bonus to unarmed attack rolls and damage. Hmm. Okay, but I don't really have much to do right now. God damn it, she should have given me that potion of healing. <laughs> well, sorry. Take care now, sweet. I like her, but did she do that poor other lady? That's what I'm wondering and worried about. Well, that wasn't the healer I was looking for, actually. Okay. How do we get there? Do we go through the door? That might be urgent, boy. Too late! Looking at you is painful enough! I'm gonna place a marker right here. Hey, it's you! Oh, oh, I didn't want to do that, but okay, here we are! Can we talk a little, Dennis? And we'll have a dog, right? Yes! Two we dogs! Don't allow them in Baldur's Gate. Cats, though. Oh, we love them cats. A orange cat <gasps> and a house with a little door so that it can come and go as it pleases. That's adorable. And a high fence to keep eavesdroppers out. Excuse me, I love cats. I just want to talk about cats. Don't mind me, I was just passing through. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Good luck to you both. Two thieflings refugees. You'll be lucky to get a square of dirt at a public house. That's so mean. I'm sorry, good luck to you both. Thanks. I suppose we'll all need it. I don't like- What about you? Big plans for when you get to the city? So many big plans. I don't like that they're discriminated against. They seem very nice. Most of them actually seem very nice. It's just because they have horns? Is that the case? A pint in a clean room would do me a world of good. Plans, just surviving the journey is ambitious enough already. Well, let's not be a downer. I won't be joining you. Valderon, it's the blushing mermaid for me. Bit rough, but the ale's cheap. Hmm, I'll be seeking the warmth of the elf song tra tavern. Yes, we're gonna do that. I think I've heard of that place. Something about a stuffed dragon's head in one of the dining rooms. Love that. It's settled, Dennis. You, me, and the elf song tavern. First thing when we arrive. Oh, I hope you're. If we see you there, we'll get you a pint. For your finders, that's so sweet. This is what I mean. They seem so nice, and I'm worried they won't actually be allowed in. That's so sad. I like tieflings a lot. If it ain't the fearless goblins, you spirit, don't like sure tieflings. You want to be seen with me. I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Yeah, because you're being an asshole. All you did was stand up for your crew. I respect that. Well, no, you could try and be a little bit friendlier, actually. You're being a dick to these people. You called them a full blood. Thanks, Mum. Now please do feck off. I hate him. Oh, feck off yourself. I saved your skin back there at the gates. Charming. I see why the locals like you so much. You know what? I'm better than this. Them devils ain't local. The refugees. Fella who runs this place offered him shelter. You're such an asshole. I should speak with that fella. Do you know where he is? And whose home is this exactly? The druids, right? Where's this fella? Aye. His name's Halsin. And if he's still alive, he'll be cursed in the day he laid eyes on me. Why We've got a contract. To track down some relic. And he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Why are you telling Didn't me this? Out, Goblin's gone when we return in sale. He's out of the digging latrines are boiling in a cook pot by now. Jesus, what? Can I take a look at that contract? Do you think getting rich would be easy? You ran away from a few goblins? Can I take a look at that contract? Job's all yours. If you got a death wish. The There's a wizard song. in Baldur's Gate that'll pay gobloads for a relic. Nice. Supposedly buried round these parts. But gold ain't any use if you're too cold to spend it. Well, that's sound advice, but I don't care. <laughs> Just tell me where to find the relic. Any idea what the relic actually is? If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. It's supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. Oh. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. 
All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back. If you feel like dying. Well, I always feel like dying. I am miserable. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Baldur's Gate when you die. Well, I don't really care about you. Okay. Interesting. Open the inventory to fuel. There you go. Here it is. Adventurers wanted for a previous and profitable quest. Master Lorican, the arcanist of Etkaltala, <laughs> seeks brave and enterprising individuals to delve treacherous temple and recover storied artifacts, the Night Song, for preservation in Baldur's Gate. Only stout of heart and keen of mind need apply. Fame, glory, and incredible fortune assured. You Interesting! We got so many things to do! Touch me and I'll bite your fingers off. Yeah, but this I is not the will. way I want to go. I really need to stop playing, but I can't. I can't. It's so good. Hmm. What's happening? I'm only gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. Oh, pickpocket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. You sure about that, kid? Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your Hey, mouth. easy. Don't you dare lay a finger on that child. You better do what he says, boy. No, 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 no. Okay, I get you're upset if he actually did steal your locket, but don't you do that. You threatening me? If I must, bitch. <laughs> Get it? I just don't want any trouble. You're the one making threats to a child. Put yourself together. Raise a hand to that child and you'll lose it. Your choice. Alright, let's see what we got. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Add a little bonus guidance. Thank you, Shadowheart. Better not give me a one. Ooh, that was a high one. Continue. You don't understand. The kid stole my locket. He... Go oh, the hell's with this. <laughs> He's like, These hell yeah. Devils get away with everything because of coddling bastards like you. Oh, so sad. You'll get you someday. I hope I get to see it. Listen, I'd Maybe rather have... But personally, I doubt it. <laughs> see you around. I'd rather have the pickpockets on my side, you know. Just saying. <laughs> And he's gone. Well, hopefully he'll remember me fondly and help me. Okay. So here... Oh, I've been here before, but I did not go to the druids quite yet. Ah. How do I get there, actually? You think I need to make a way around? Probably. Alright guys, unfortunately I'm a little bit out of time for today, so I'm gonna leave the episode here. We're gonna pick this up because we've got a lot of new quests. We still need to talk to Karja and find the healer Neddy. We also have the Kresh, Karlag. We got a lot of things to do. <laughs> a lot of things to do. But I'm gonna end the episode here. I really do hope you enjoyed. We had a lot of talking done. We didn't fight once, so... I got a little break this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more Baldur's Gate, let me know. And don't forget to leave a like, subscribe if you for some reason have not already. And guess I will see you in the very next episode of Baldur's Gate. See ya!